You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, my name is Morello Kane, Morale All Things Hair dot media. It's the hair debate. And our segment where we are recognizing, okay, spotlighting a very special woman here, Miss Rona Simpson. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. So Miss Simpson. Okay, a woman of many hats, let me just say. Okay, yes ma'am, of Rhonda's Room, because she is a licensed cosmetologist, a hair care provider in the industry. Okay, so Miss Rhonda, um, I tell you, um, you wear many hats right now. What are you doing? Oh, gosh. Uh, I do. I am a full master barber. Uh, wow. I'm the owner of Rhonda's Room Hair Salon. Uh, I have my short life as well. I'm into uh, the kitchen room as well. Uh, I am a former uh, owner of my own beauty supply store as well, and uh, I'm in a couple of uh, 501c nonprofits, uh, Women of Distinction, and the Association of Barbers and Stylists. It is that it? Oh my God! Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. 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 Uh, a master barber. Wow. When I tell you, um, I mean that is that's motivating for me. Yeah. Let me just say that. And that's the reason why we are recognizing you. And just to let you guys know, you know, you may say, but what's a hair care provider? And that's a person that operates in excellence. Everyone does not. And so that's the reason why we're recognizing you today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. You know, and that's that's servicing on an entirely different level. You know, not just not just hairstyling, you know, but you know, hair care. Okay, because that's what's important now is hair care services. It's customer service. Customer service, You know, um, um, customer outreach. Because, you know, and so it's truly giving back. Now, this women of distinction. Yeah. Oh, my God. So now, what made you as a hair care provider um, make that, you know, decision to, okay, I need to start giving back to the community. Oh gosh, well, actually I started, well, it's really all the way back when I was 16 years old, so I was already doing it. And you know how that commercial comes on, and you see this kid with, uh, and they're telling me, you said money, I was sending my little allowance money. So it started really? back that far. Uh, my first 24 hour hair was in 1995 for the Cancer Society, and I've been going eight, uh, 18 years of uh, cutting hair for the homeless for Jose uh, wow. and so on and so on. So the Women of Distinction, uh, just happened to be something that um, I, one of my customers was saying and she recommended me to get involved with these, with these uh, women. And they were a group of women who were already doing what I had been doing all my life, so I, I felt like I just fit right in and I already belonged to Yes, and so it was easy for you to say yes, count me in. Very easy. I was already counted in. You know how they say sometimes uh, something chooses you before you choose it. So yes. In our profession, so yeah, it chose me. Okay, so now, Women of Distinction, what is that organization about? Uh, well, what we do is our mission is to build up and empower our community. Um, yes. Uh, co affecting social economics, co uh, collectively collaborating, and um, uh, wow. trying to change the, the economics and social uh, uh, when it comes to our community. Is that in individuals, would you say? Yes. I mean, wow, and so you guys have been effective, you know, you're affecting a lot of different individuals. We do, um, actually in the, the city of Atlanta, uh, April 18th is uh, uh, Women, of the, Women of Distinction's Day holiday in the city okay. of Atlanta. And we've touched over 300,000 lives. Oh, that is absolutely amazing when I tell you. And so, I, again, you know, this is the reason why we are recognizing this young lady. When I tell you, um, it's, it's so easy for us to make excuses yeah. on why we don't always give back. Right. You know, um, time is always first and foremost. Right. I mean, it's hard for me to do the things that I do, right. you know, but I do believe in community outreach and community service. Mm -hmm. So now, where do you find the time to do all of this? Well, one of the great things about our industry is it's flexible. So we can make yes. our own schedules. So we are able to, uh, you know, find a way to make that time as well. Um, and I kind of, I make sure that chair giving back is a, is a, a priority as well. Oh, absolutely. Um, the community comes in and serves us, so why not be a part of serving back and giving back to them? I love how you put that. I absolutely do. And so now, in our industry, when it comes to 
us as being hair care providers. You know, um, people think that we go to school to learn how to style hair. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the last thing that you tend to learn. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you pick it up, you know, but much more so it's chemistry and it's science, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, but now, like you just said, you know, um, in our industry, there are many hats. They are. Um, like I said, you want to make sure that you're giving back to the community for one. Uh, and then also, we are also, uh, we need to be mentors. Yes. Uh, we have a, 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 a whole new group of people coming up that they call wow. millennials. Yes. And sometimes the, our old, uh, old school, uh, sometimes we kind of tend to run from, but we need to embrace because we have to, we need each other. No, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, I tell you, you just, you know, when it comes to the millennials, and where we're at. Would that be considered old school? Uh, am I quite there? I mean, I'm always <laughs> Mike. But you know, one of the good things, I have, uh, a great thing about millennials, what I think is that uh, they're bold, yes. they're brave, and yes. they're, they're risk takers. So they don't say, um, I want to, I have to wear somebody else's brand or somebody else's name. That's they, right. They, they, they create their own. That's so right. I, I, that's I, right. I definitely that. No, absolutely. And that's you know, where we play and, you know, and where we at in our life yeah. is fostering that, you know, um, feeding into that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just so thankful to have you here today. Um, you know what, for those young ladies that are, and many are millennials, mm -hmm. you know, they've gone through hard times and struggles, you know, um, you know, they've gone through a life of abuse, some of them. How can they relate in or if they, you know, if, if they're wanting to one day be that woman of distinction, you know, what can they do? You know, it's, um, the thing of it is, is that when, uh, even when we're down, you know, yes. life is about balance. You have your highs and your lows. And even when you're down, the best way to feel better is to try to help somebody else or give back. And it's, it's amazing how we can do that with something as simple as a smile. A smile is very contagious. You can actually lift somebody a day just by smiling. I mean, even if you don't have anything. We're dealing with the community, we're dealing with people, we're dealing with people's actual spirits and souls. When they come to sit in your chair, you know, it's not just about styling him, you're dealing, you're connecting with people. So it's good to just try to give, you know, when even when they come to testify, you want to um, make sure that you're depositing good things. But even for someone who does not have, like I said, absolutely, if you think you don't have nothing, you have purpose because you're here. Exactly. That's you're here. So, you know, even if that's all you have, it's not. Yeah. So, so um, I tell you, I thank you so much, uh, Ms. Runner. You have given so much to this community, so much to this industry, and definitely we look forward to bringing you back into the show again. I would like to come into your salon, absolutely, absolutely and visit you. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, time. absolutely. Well, there you have it. Um, do stay tuned to that. Again, my name is Morello Kane, and our special guest here, Ms. Runner Simpson. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, it's Morello Kane. The hair debate.com where we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair.